Yeah, that's in the trees. You want to take a mulligan? No, nah, I don't do drugs. I sort of look at this as the year that Roswell comes of age. So we're getting ourselves out of the high school, we're expanding the canvas of the show, taking ourselves into new territory and allowing ourselves to sort of play a little bit more um, sort of adult themes. Isabel. Hey. Uh, this is Jesse Ramirez from my office. We met at the company. Picnic, that's right. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. It is introduced in this episode as well as Isabel's new love interest who um, is a very, very serious love interest and somebody she's been seeing all summer but nobody knows about because he works in her father's office and is a bit older. Not a lot, just a little. So she's like 22, 23? 26. 26? That's a problem. So uh, you ready for a little... Uh... Thank you for this meeting, Mr. Ramirez. No problem, Isabel. And I think people are gonna see how much they're in love with each other as the, as the, the, the storyline goes on. I mean, it's really real. It's not an infatuation. It's not something that's, you know, uh, kind of spur of the moment, let's just be in love kind of thing, because we're young. I think, I think these characters are really, really in love with each other. They really appreciate each other for who they are. Whoops. You are not going to tell me what you said. You know, this is so indicative. Shut up. The character I play is Michael. He's changed, actually, over the three years. He seems to be becoming the, the, the normal kind of human one of the group, you know, settling down. Not exactly with a family or anything like that, but he seems to have, you know, gotten priorities straight and stuff like that, so. Is this some deranged sex thing? I got a job. Security guard? Got to start somewhere. This season, he settled down to get a job, and he's kind of uh, learned his place on Earth. That's kind of the direction he's headed in, from you know being the hot head of the group to kind of being the uh, the one with the more cooler head. Okay, so technically I stole it, but they didn't know that. Right. Carl fired us because he only thought that one of us took it. But you did take it. Why can't these aliens ever get in trouble somewhere decent? Like Graceland, or Tahoe, or New Orleans. Maria no. DeLuca, she in a year is basically a different person. She was kind of ditzy and like, eh, you know, and now she's the one, you know, she's very on top of it. She's very like brassy, very, you know, still the best friend and the girlfriend and all that, but, you know, is and still, comical, but in a different way. She's a little more in charge. Okay, first of all, I have some alien green lime pie for you. Oh, God. God. Maria, you, you are a goddess. You know, if you were a boy, I would... Okay, I don't... no, don't go there, girlfriend. How could you make Liz hold a gun? It's kind of fun because you go on these chases with these characters and you're finding the clues and you're figuring it out and then there's like the romance and... You know, why aren't you paying attention to me? You know, like all the normal feelings that you have on a day-to-day -day basis with a human that you have feelings for. And each one of us are all involved in relationships. And then we go through these huge struggles together. And you see us like figure everything out and everyone, like one member is doing this thing and everyone's doing this. And you sort of, as an audience, are like picking a character and you're like you know, hoping that they're gonna figure it out. And it sort of becomes like a little chase. And uh, it's, it's great when you watch these characters figure it out or you watch them fall because you know that they're not going to give up. They're going to continue the fight. You're free. We came here for a reason because your son is in trouble. And you need to go back and do what we came for. You know, see if your ship works. Come on, I don't want this to all be for nothing. <laughs> 